Hey, Eric with Farbike here, and today I'm going to show you how to change the pedal assist sensor on a baggy bike. This is a baggy bike V20 folding bike, and as you see, you put it upside down, makes everything to get easier to get to. This includes if you mess with your brakes or change tires, I recommend doing this. Just throw some spacers there so you don't squish your screen. And so the pedal assist sensor we're changing today requires those two tools there. And it is down here. This should be the same on just about every electric bike that has a magnetic cadence sensor. There's a disc here that spins with your pedals. And then there's a sensor here that measures when the magnets go by. And that activates your pedal assist. So it's possible sometimes either this is out of alignment. You want it nice and up and down. And this circle really close to the mat, to the sensor. And then sometimes today we're going to replace this sensor because if it's faulty, it just goes in here to the controller that goes in this box. So just unscrew it, attach it to that box. So here's the magnet disc and this part down here hanging off the bottom of the bike is the sensor. And it's held on with two Phillips head screws. So just take those out. So to get the sensor out, you'll see the screws just magnetized to the disc, which is normal. Just push that disc back a little, and then you slide the sensor out. And you'll see this is the sensor right here. It's got that little LED and just a little black box. And that goes inside the control unit, and I'll show you how to open that. And then we'll just replace this. Now in here is the control unit, the brains of the bike. Take off these four bolts, and we can access the controller. Inside here you see the controller box. It's basically that's the brains right there And this is just extra room for all the wires that come into it It's like the throttle the screen the brakes everything connects to this box and it tells how much power to go to the back wheel So here's the pedal assist sensor. We're replacing you'll see it just goes through a hole right here and just follow the wire It goes to so here's the wire it attaches to and you'll see it's only a six inch wire here and then the plug on the end and you'll see it's green, red, and black. Green, red, and black. That's the plug. So you push this tab right here, and then it just pops off. Just like that. And then you should be able to pull this through. Bit easy on this one, the plug to disconnect. It's a three pin, green, black, and red. Um, and then you have to take this out. If you have a bad sensor, just cut this off and it slides right out. Uh, but if you're having trouble finding that plug, you can just pull all this out and you'll see here here's the controller 48 volt controller it has the plug for the screen it has like three or four plugs in here if you don't know what it does don't touch it but you'll find where the plug is just mess with the green black and red wire and then once that's out I should be able to pull this through There you go. You might have to squeeze it through that hole there, but you can get it out. Now take our new sensor and push the plug back through the hole that accesses the control unit right here. Take some maneuvering, but it'll go through. There we go. Now that that is through, Remember we got the three pin connector, red, black, and green. Find the other three pin connector, red, black, and green, and just snap them together. You'll see it has a tab right there, and that snaps it together just like that. So now if you did have to pull out your controller and you got the wires and everything back here, there's no science to putting it back in. You just put it back in and sort of jam all the wires in there. Just be careful you don't detach anything, but it's pretty simple. Just squish any of them. Squish it in anywhere you have space. There we go. There's a little room for our sensor there. Once you got your wire squished back in, your new sensor hanging out, put the box door back on.
So attach the new sensor, slide the LED light through the hole here on this bracket, and then use your screws and then reattach it. So to test your pedal assist, once it's installed, you'll see this little red LED light on the sensor. Spin your pedals forward and you'll see every, it flashes on and off every time a magnet goes by it. So if you're spinning the pedals forward and you're seeing a flash every time, it's working properly. Your bike is fixed. So that's how to change a cadence pedal assist sensor, pedal assist sensor on most electric bikes. This is a baggy bike. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. My name is Eric. I'll see you guys in the next one.